mechanical thrombectomy. So this is one of the specialized procedures that is usually undertaken in cases of acute ischemic stroke to remove the clot. So as you know, stroke is the commonest cause of paralysis and it is one of the leading causes of uh, death and disability other than heart attack and cancers. So in cases of stroke, there are two types. One is ischemic stroke where the blood supply of the brain gets blocked. So in those patients, if, if they come within the first four and a half hours, we have a medicine which can be given by injection to dissolve the clot. But many times the clot may be in the one of the major vessels and you know, so there we need this procedure called mechanical thrombectomy. So initially we need to do an angiogram or a vessel wall imaging which is done with the CT scan or MRI and that gives a clue which is confirmed by doing a diagnostic cerebral angiogram. And then at the same time by using this procedure mechanical thrombectomy the clot can be sucked out or removed. Now by doing that we are able to salvage the brain tissue because if the clot remains there over a period of time many thousands or you know millions of brain neurons can get damaged and that doesn't recover. So this also has a time period just like our intravenous thrombolysis. So clot buster therapy by injection, it can be given in the first four and a half hours, whereas mechanical thrombectomy has a larger or longer window period and this can be done up to the first 24 hours. But even though we have a 24 hour window period, it is always important or useful to do it as early as possible so that more number of brain neurons can be salvaged. So in summary, mechanical thrombectomy is one of the procedures which is undertaken for acute ischemic stroke to remove the clots in one of the major cerebral arteries.